It's Jason Pearson here. I have on here Kim Rackley, who is a mom of three kids, and she lost like 60 pounds in like five months. And she is busy. I mean, every time I've, I've dealt with her, I mean, she's, I don't even know how she manages everything, but we're gonna get into her story today, how that how that happened and what her story is. And uh, Kim, how you doing? I'm great. All right. She's even busy even here uh, on, on this interview. She took out a little bit of time here from... I just I just closed the window, actually, when you started talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, so, Kim, give us a little bit... Give us, give us like, your backstory. What's your story? Um, you know, where you... You know, your journey here, your your story, where you came from. I mean, did you try the diets? I mean, what's your whole story? And what did you want to... What were you trying to accomplish? What struggles did you hit along the way and what was like the wall you hit where you're like that's it before you had this aha moment about the Jason Pearson diet (laughs) well um uh, my husband and I went through a lot of serious issues starting back um probably about four years ago different major health issues and then several pregnancies um for me and some of those ended up with miscarriages we also had a 32 week stillbirth in there so it was six pregnancies in all um, in a in a pretty short period of time and along with the grief that comes with that and the hormonal ups and downs that come with that um, and then uh, we also had some random things happen my daughter got bit by a poisonous snake and my husband had a brain tumor he's fine um, now but the surgery from that and then he had a stroke after the surgery and so then the recovery from that so it was just, oh, we threw a move in there, like across the country, because why not? And it, it was just really busy. And not just that, there was a lot going on mentally for me and emotionally. And so my physical health just kind of totally went out the window because I didn't have time. And honestly, I really kind of didn't have time. Um, so after, after putting on some pretty serious weight um, and us getting back on our feet in a good way we I decided hey it's time for me to take control of my health and I'm gonna get better now Um, and my husband was super supportive and my kids are great so um, so I started trying several different things Um, namely um, trim healthy mama was one of them Um, that worked pretty well it was a pretty whole food kind of plan Um, it was just a little complicated for me in my season of life Um, I tried um, Atkins diet, like the no carb thing, which I think is keto now pretty much. Um, I tried that for a little while. I lost weight really fast and that was great because I could eat bacon all day and cheese and that was amazing. But then as soon as I like looked at a piece of bread, I put on five pounds again. Um, Let's see, I tried, um, oh, I got some, I got really drastic with some hormonal supplements and then I ate pretty much nothing and I lost a lot of weight with that that was really great but of course basically I was starving myself I felt terrible Um, and then once I started eating again I put the weight back on really really quickly about the same amount of time that it took to take it off so um, so I knew that I was trying all these different things none of them were working long term like I wasn't actually getting healthy I was dropping pounds but I wasn't healthy Um, so then I decided to try for myself something that looked reasonable. Um, so I looked up different plans online from different nutritionists that they had posted and you know, it's just the normal, like eating healthy stuff. And I was like, this is what I'm going to do. So I did that. Um, I tried eliminating some, um, foods like dairy and sugar and, um, and grains. So I was eliminating gluten in that, assuming I had some kind of strange food allergy and maybe that was causing me to keep weight on or not lose it. Um, At this point, I was also struggling very seriously with mental depression, anxiety. So I knew something had to change. So I thought, you know, if I eliminate these problem foods, then this is going to do it for me. And I don't care if I don't lose weight. I just want to be healthy. So I tried this and after two weeks, I put on another five or 10 pounds. I was like, well, Clearly, I do not know what it takes for my body to work correctly. So I started looking into nutritionists and my husband, again, was super supportive and said, take whatever you need, use the budget, go find yourself a nutritionist. So I started going through my insurance and looking through all the different nutritionists that were available in my area and looking them up. And I knew I couldn't just have a calories in, calories out person. 
I couldn't have a person who cared about the BMI scale too much and I couldn't have someone who didn't care about the BMI scale because none of those things were working for me. So I kind of went through all these things and it ended up with no one that I thought could actually help me. So um, I went to visit a doctor for my thyroid and he just, the sweetest little man, was so great with my thyroid but then he told me I'm sorry it's just really hard to lose weight in the winter so you know I, I just think you should wait till the spring and maybe you can drop five or ten pounds and I was like ah see nothing's working so I feel like I tried the gamut of almost all the options that are available and I'm aware that there's a lot more out there that I didn't try but I feel like I gave it a really good effort so at that point I um, heard about Jason um, Jason's diet from one of my friends online, one of the bloggers that I followed for years and years and years, and she seemed to be doing super well, and I knew she was really honest, I really trusted her, um, I knew she wouldn't just endorse anything. Um, so I emailed her and said, hey Crystal, what can I do about this? Like, can you give me some information if you're willing to share, and you didn't have to lose weight, you just needed to get healthy, but I need to lose weight and get healthy, like, do you think this is something that would work for me? And she shot back an email so fast and was super, super encouraging and just said, hey, you should really give this a try. Even if it's just a month or two, just give it a try and see what happens. So I did. And now here I am. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And so, and so that's awesome. And so during, when you came on the program and stuff and you started it, you know, compared to other things, I mean, what happened like what was like the aha moment like you're in this and like ha huh, this is working and like it's still oh. working and it's still working i know you had done other things before even like there's like a, a a weight that you were that you were at that you like nothing has ever brought me below this weight and, and yeah you know, we had to overcome some things too to do that but yeah what happened there so go ahead well, I have a lot of, I struggle a lot mentally with mental barriers, I think, that really affect me physically. So um, there were several times with other diets that I had dropped 10 or 15, even 20 pounds, but there was a number, it was like 170 or 165, whatever it was. I can't even remember now because it was so many pounds ago. Um, but I could never break past that number. So I would do these diets and I'd get to that number and I'd stay there for like weeks on end. And then I would just lose all my motivation because why keep doing something that's not working that would just drive me insane I have too much to do to do stuff that doesn't work so um, so then I would quit or I would get really depressed or discouraged and then I would just throw in the towel but with this one I would get stuck on that number for maybe two days and then Jason would say he would say don't um, don't give up like think really hard about this think positively and sure enough the next day I'd be down another pound and so like breaking through those barriers and it seemed like I kept doing that like I would get stuck and people get stuck on a number but with your plan you're stuck for maybe two or three days at the most a week with other people's like you might be there forever <laughs> <laughs> so for me so for me it was it was really great to see like I can overcome these little things these can I can get past these. These aren't like this isn't where I don't have to be stuck here forever. So, yes, that's awesome. And so, um, that's awesome. So along the way, um, also along the way in the program, uh, did you uh, besides this? I mean, of course, struggle in the mental struggles. You struggle with anything else too along the way? Um, you mean like while I was doing the diet? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I think the hardest thing for me is making time for myself. Um, because you do have to prep ahead and for me with my kids yes I have three kids and I know there's so many out there with so many more than that and other issues and different kids even it, every mom who has three kids does not have the same life either um, just because different kids and different struggles can mean different workloads um, for me since I homeschool my kids um, I'm with them 24 7 so for me the hardest thing was being able to sit them down and say, hey, look, mom has to do this, and this is gonna be good for all of us, but we're gonna have to work together. So for breakfast, you guys are on your own now. For lunch, you guys are on your own. I'll make sure the food's in the fridge, but I'm going to take the 10 minutes to make my salad and cook my salmon. Is everyone okay with this? <laughs> and for a while, like, you know, for a while, my two older girls were just like, what? There's nothing hot to eat for lunch? And I was like, there's not but there's plenty of good foods in the fridge for you. 
So it, you know, it took a little bit of time for them to kind of adjust, but they totally did and they were fine. So, so that worked out really great. But I would say that was probably the hardest struggle for me. Even now still, it's just saying, all right, everyone pause, just give me five minutes and I'll get right back to serving you guys. That's awesome. And, 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 and through this, like what, what was your end result? Um, uh, you had done so far in the program with this being, um, I mean, you know, you lost, um, I think 60 pounds in like five months, right? Mm-hmm. And then, um, so you did that and was there anything else you achieved? And at the same time, was there any type of transformation that might have happened along the way? Like, I mean, for you, if your family, um, um, could be maybe, um, now you're like a super happy mom or you know there's no highs and lows or just anything i mean any transformation maybe spiritual anything happened along the way yeah well emotionally emotionally i'm much more stable so i'm more predictable mom you could say Mm -hmm. um and my poor kids were really were really having a hard time knowing how is mom going to react in this situation versus other times so um, i became much more predictable um, emotionally, which was great. Um, my mental health is significantly better. Um, I, I'm much more energetic, so I'm excited to go out and play with my kids rather than to send them out by themselves to play because I need a break. Although I do still do that. Um, but it's not because of bad energy levels. It's just because I need a break. Um, but no, the, the kids are, the kids have definitely noticed a difference. Uh, my husband's noticed a huge difference in the way that I interact with others. Um, I'm much more quick to say I'll do things for other people, not in an unhealthy way though. I'm willing to say no, but in a way that like I feel excited. I don't feel like I, I'm being forced to do things for others. I'm excited now to do them for other people because I have the energy. It's not a duty thing. It's more of an excited energy to go and sure, I'm really excited to run that ladies event at church because I'm going to be fine to do it. It's not going to put me in bed for two weeks when it's over. So stuff like that, I think has been really great. I can do the stuff that I want to do. That's awesome. And so somebody's listening to this right now and they're, um, and they're wondering like, you know, is this for me? Maybe they're a mom, maybe they're busy, maybe they have three kids, maybe they have five kids, maybe they just have one or two kids. Uh, whether they're stay at home or they have a job too and they're wondering like will this work for me did, did this just work for Kim and it won't work for me and it's worked for so many other other people but not for me and will I be able to do this because I'm like busy you know will this work or what would you tell them I would say yeah it'll it'll work it'll be good <laughs> um, you can't eat you can't eat these kinds of healthy foods and not lose weight it's impossible and then the combination that you put together is so perfect for everyone and if you're on the custom program it's even more specific to what you need in your body right so doing eating these kind of foods is going to produce results um if the question is i don't know if i'm going to have time for this there's so many tips and tricks that you're willing and eager to give um just prepping foods ahead of time um going to the store at the right time, making time for yourself, it's really not hard. And who cooks salads? No one cooks salads. Salads are easy to pull out of the fridge. So just like, there's so many mental hurdles that you have to get over and realize this really isn't a big deal. You're just eating food. Um, and I think that to me is a big aha moment even to know that, yes, I can do this. It's not that big of a deal, although it kind of is. But in reality, when you're looking at the time it takes or the energy it takes, um, you can do this. It's not hard to do, um, and I think I think it's I think it's a worthy investment. Um, like if I if I look back at where I was, I started almost a year ago now, and if I look back a year ago and see where I was and look now, I'm just blown away, and I'm so glad and so thankful that I took this last year to take care of myself. Well, that's awesome. Well, you heard from Kim. If you listen to this. Um, and want to get started, definitely get started here. There should be a link, wherever it might be, to get started here um, with the program. And I can help you just like her and everyone else, the thousands of other women's, women I've helped also. And uh, other than that, thank you very much, Kim.